TB is, is one of our main challenges uh, today, uh, certainly in Africa, where TB is the main cause of death for people living with, with HIV and AIDS. And a key challenge already starts with detecting the disease. Much more needs to be done to really screen patients with HIV for the presence of TB. But we also need a better test because with the current microscopy, we only we detect less than half of, of, of the patients. Um, what is now extremely worrying is that we start to see multi-drug resistance and even extensively drug resistance even in African settings, and particularly now in, in South Africa. As Médecins Sans Frontier, we have experience in treating multi-drug resistant in the former Soviet Union, and we know that even in conditions where there is no, not much HIV, um, outcomes are very poor, even if we do our best. It's about 55 of patients only succeed. A treatment that is 18 to 24 months is extremely harsh, a lot of side effects, and now this problem is arriving in, in African settings, so treating a combination of, of HIV and multi-drug resistant is going to create enormous challenges. If you look at the first patients that were described with this extensively drug resistant TB in KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa, almost all the patients had already died by the time the diagnosis was there. So again, there's, there's a huge problem of having a rapid and a simple test to detect, uh, detect the problem. And, um, and we know that with, with the current drugs we have that have a lot of side effects, have low efficacy, um, we're going to have major problems and are going to have very bad outcome. And what is being done right now in terms of research and development for new drugs is, uh, and, and diagnostics is entirely in, insufficient. The, the increased efforts over the, of the last few years are good, but they are far from, uh, from enough.